been a little bit about some of the poems. Um, I'm not really a poet, but I did kind of have a period of intense like writing and I wrote, I've been working with youth a lot to a non-profit foundation and seeing youth and having my granddaughter live with me and um, following um, e everything that was happening in their lives. And um, it seemed that I was, I wrote these with the intention of um, helping youth and at one point I called them granny raps, but I'm not rap a rapper, so I think I'm, I'm dropping that one. <laughs> um, the uh, intention was just to uplift youth, really, uh, because I could see how many of them were suffering so much. And also in my family, we've had a lot of um, mental challenges and um, many different things that have been going on so i wrote about some of that as well um and um i will start yeah. and i myself i think i have a, i know i have um adhd and dyslexia and all that good stuff and bipolar illness so um yeah, that's all informed. <laughs> okay, the first one is called Love Me. She was a radiant, shimmering jewel encased in a net, broke out into hell. A rational blur, jumbled synapses, in a haze of meth, pure and sassy, don't fret. The journey was incredible, she expendable, soul lost, sucked in, trapped in the creation, numb, unaware. Oh, the sorrow of the shimmering jewel. She with the pure white porcelain pearl, stuck in her shell, born into royalty, broke out into hell. Not some fairy story waiting to be inhabited, heartache and broken dreams, in crevices, corners, humanity lurks. Unseen, unknown, embracing dirt, gravel, a maze trapped in her mind. Struggle, sadness, broken dreams, love me. Love me, don't be touch me. Um, uh, this one called Voices. How, do you, how did you arrive at this state of alienation? Did the words sting, strike, pop your brain into the inferno of the lost? At what cost? Screw it, leave it alone, don't lie. Getting it rough, hanging in tough, loud voices hammering from the older generation, bringing you down in their fashion with such unconscious passion, not knocking at your self-esteem. When they were kids, sticks and stones broke bones in silent, violent homes. Pick up the pieces. You're okay. Stay, stay, stay. Communicate your pain, rage. Someone who cares, open heart. Don't be shy. Who is this person? Why? We know the eyes will cry. Granny, please you. Try, try, try. Reach out, this is what it's all about. Transform, a celebration beyond explanation. Hold on to uplifting songs. Beat, move those feet. Beauty is in the imperfections. Create the beautiful, you, you, you. You're not going to rot, you're going to soar. 
And if Granny could inspire you, Granny will roar. <clears throat> this is called change. The world is changing all around you. What's in the future will astound you. Technology awaits you. Be part of the transformation in the equation, extreme connectivity, extracting, compounding, productivity. Internet, of course, and so we go round and round. Found in brains of promise, del deliberation. Granny hopes they'll fix technology, updating, seamless, intertwining. Hoping heads of many corporations fix it, smooth it, to improve it. Millions of apps, devices galore. Each second we breathe, new ones hit the store. Stay connected, the best is yet to come. And so we go round and round and round. Back to the old flash fashion clock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. You streams of consciousness intrigue me. In my day, mentally suppressed, now told to do our best, to understand this complex world in moving pictures, millions of selfies, videos stuck in space. Is this the beginning of a new human race? In my day, scriptures, hymns, confessions, now that made a lasting impression. Girls, boys, no matter, Granny's done with all his chatter. Oh, la, 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 la. Um, right. This is a more serious one. Um, called Lost Moments. Why did you fail her? Impale her with multiple drugs of many descriptions? attempting to stop her manic predictions. Police, paramedics, psychiatric detentions, guessing what works in her brain, each time making her more insane. No passing along of historical information to work with on a daily basis, hoping to achieve poignant homeostasis. Follow through one hospital to another, paper trails, why not, if everything else hits the drain? Doctors doing their best in a broken system. Families coping, powerless. Surrogate nurses. Big Pharma, Eli Lilly, everybody else lining purses. Sister, father, mother, brother, others. I hate the strife of mental illness, ripping us apart. Can't you tell this woman's pissed? Oh my God, what have we missed? HIPAA laws keeping us silent. Meanwhile, they are quiet, manic, or violent. God help you if you attempt. God help you if you challenge the status quo. They'll point a finger at you. Go. Up and down, merry go round and round and round. Can you hear the sound? See the writing on the wall? But it's in blood, you are appalled. Psychiatric units care. Blank walls, suffocating spirit. No color, music, or appreciation here. Sanitation rules the day. Clinical ideation. Mission, Olive Youth, Pacific Adventist, White Memorial, far, far away, a numbing tutorial. Evaluating an illness, complications, misinterpretations. How can they pick up the pieces left behind? Reinventing the wheel, each time messing with body and mind. Don't get me wrong delicate archery of the brain, hitting the bullseye sometimes on target, like a shopping spree at the market. 5150, 72 hours, we'll just charge them at noon. The street many cases, where are the faces? Stumbling in pebbles of innocuous concoction, such seductions, Depakote, Haldos, the Pretza, Risperidol, etc. Science, take the stage. Deliver for individual brains, hooked up to measure delicate neurotransmitters. Just a thought gives me the shivers. Pathways of stimulation, genetics reveal. 
the whole person standing before you in glory. Now this sounds like the end of a Cinderella story. Um, this is called Pulse and Spark. In school, I was tortured by monsters and spirits. So bad to this day, I still have the fidgets. Drew blood from my hands, never the same. Let it go, move on, create a different song. It's never that bad, you have to die. Perhaps better to become a stoner. I'm kidding you, or I've never turned to drugs. Friends in impossible situations, many tripping chemical complications. Don't get lost in the haze of the brain, giving parents a dose of the same. Wanna hurt someone? It's only you, violating your self-esteem. Speak up, reach out, hug friends, make it real, look into their eyes. Forget the screens that separate, connect. Thousands and thousands of online illusions. Position yourself in a stronger place. No apparitions by definition. This is two jails, too many to mention. Did I mention the rules of detention? Cries, lies, Bible wise. Judges damn you, Uncle Sam you. Chain you up, sing the blues. No money for rehab, throw away the key. High fives, hold up your head. Have you forgotten your comfortable bed? Oh, and while we're on the subject, don't whine and moan, they'll let you use the phone. So stay out of jail and similar situations. Granish chant, creation, creation, creation. You'll be the perfect you, you, you. Ah, oh, forget the old woman, she's full of shit. Ah, oh, but she's strong, her bones are well worn. Weathered storm flash in the desert a long time. Positioned to be your line of compassion. Maybe you'll make her your fashion. Um... And this one is called Loss. He was my stability, my rock, my hero. Left no word, no explanation. Ten years old, waiting, waiting at the train station. His ghostly apparition, figment of child's imagination. Gone never, never to return. They gifted me the power, an intricate web of lies. You killed him, they cried. Fantasized he left for another lady. How could he possibly leave his baby? So began the long road of discovery, many years before the recovery. No doubt mum felt left out, too young to figure this out. Lifting things off left, right and center, the savings of silver, little fingers could pry. Nothing could prevent her, needed a mentor, easier than to cry, cry. So granny advises you, don't steal this easy. They'll prosecute, you'll feel queasy and uneasy. How do I know this, for sure this is real? Graduated, perfected her style. When older, she was bolder. Apprehended on a spree? No, you can't have it, it's not free. Clapped in handcuffs, she was drowning in the world's vast array of temptation. No one paying attention. Waiting for intervention, not juvenile detention. See, the pain of someone leaving doesn't justify acting out your feelings. Create a different story, ending, get a grip, flip, turn it around. Legalize your dreams. Please. Okay.
this is um, in honor of mental health issues, Suicide Awareness Month. I didn't write it for that, but it seems that it could be applied. It's called New Beginnings. Depression proliferates, fragile prisons without bars, numbing feelings, slow, low sinking, pounding head, feeling hopeless, hollow, needing inner guidance to follow. A void, a sensation, deep in being, no one is seeing. Where did you come from? Where are you going? You're one of a kind, leave the haters behind. Juveniles, victimized, criticized, polarized. How many parents will find their kids missing or hanging by cords from the ceiling? Kids, this is no revolution. Trying so hard to escape from confusion. Depression over love, phase, just a phase. Hurting, getting too close. Warriors and goddesses, you unappealing. No one understands your feelings. There is someone for you after all. This youth, a temporary existence, leading to an adult persistence. Hang in there, kid. Play it forward in the game. Small successes duplicate. You're strong, I know it. Look outside yourself, see the wealth. Possibilities abound. Does this confound? Be kind to yourself. Never mind the lies that define you in the eyes of others. Be kind, be kind. Invite the light. Bring your talents to the table. Life's not just one dimension. Life meaning you, your dreams create. They're not up for sale. It's not too late. Um, oh, here's a, how long do I have? Around five minutes, depending on, on the length. Okay. Uh, I could listen to you forever, to oh. be honest. All right. But in around fi in five minutes, it's, uh, we have. Yeah. <coughs> I'm kind of rushing them for some reason. I, I'm a rusher. I need to slow down. <laughs> this is called Reach Out. How do I know this is real? Someone you know have a mental illness where the brain can't find its stillness, won't take the cocktail of medications, saturation, illumination, alienation. It's not your fault. You did not cause it. No hit, delete, erase it, pause it. Paranoia prevails, frantic emotions. No balance here. Roller coaster off the rails. Locked in otherworldly realities. Trying so desperately to rule san sanity. If you're young, my heart is bleeding. Be it your sister, brother, father, mother. It's a tough one, kid. Hang in there tight. Pick up the pace, even though you're petrified. No excuse for abuse, verbal or otherwise. Reach out, share, trusted friend. Helpline, right? Take care of you, you in this disaster. Immerse yourself in reading, writing, a quiet place. Notebook, thoughts, visions, dreams. Do it fully to impress yourself. Just watch. Words will empower you. Breathe. We're all in this together. See my face? I'm just an illusion, present to frozen, present to shine a light on your, your confusion. Thank you so much, Maya. I'll do, can I do one more? One more, please, yeah. I've left out this 
14 year old and the 16 year old but um i could do the um 14 or the 16 year old which one should i do um okay legacy or 14 how do i know this granny's been around a few years believe me falling and falling in love with a smile temporary happiness hurting inside all the while how do you know for sure he's a prince by your side will you be his bride bride you say what's that got to do with me i'm 14 and pregnant my dreams are on hold for now throwing up i'm far from bold don't stare will my baby bring a new me my tears unseen social media fulfills my needs Plenty of followers following my st status. No one knows how I feel inside. Child inherits a legacy. Don't get stuck in the mud with guilt and shame. Promises broken, parents not to blame. Move gently in the garden of life. Seed is planted, now watch it grow. Creating your pod of infinite possibilities. Run his many parental errors, a child of love and rage. It comes through you. Turn the page. She was warned, ignored the situation, forged her path resolutely, creating havoc here and there. Before Facebook, Snap, TikTok, Instagram, before TV, cell phones, thank you, ma'am. Children having children not quite the same. No mother's granny's carings. Wrenched away from arms at birth, heartbroken, ignoring her pleas. Press onwards and upwards, see the light. Glow, hit the swinging pen pendulum of time. Prayer, care, you're both protected by God. Thank you, Maya. Thank you so much. Beautiful, Maya. Beautiful. <laughs> so, can you please unmute yourself and uh, raise your hand and to to start our conversation with Maya. <laughs> oh. Pamela. Maya, you are so gifted. I am so moved. Every word, every image, your beautiful voice, your delivery, your amazing heart, you just, you literally stir up so many deep feelings in me. And I believe that the strength of your poetry and the strength of your commitment to make a difference in the world, that you literally are changing for the, the world for the better in these moments that you've shared your beautiful poetry with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Maya, Maya with I. <laughs> I don't know where to begin, Maya. It affected me a lot. Um, but um, I think they should be published, number one. I think your poetry should be published. Two, it, yes. makes, it makes such a change to hear reality talked about in poetry in Subud. What, whatever it really does it is so refreshing and three just to say that I'm in the middle of such a lot of what you said at this moment and have been for years and um, you know if someone comes in that's one of the people you're talking about only not so young anymore and four um oh I've forgotten what four was <laughs> anyway, um, I'm so glad, and I knew, I'm so glad that you contacted me in the middle of the night by mistake, and I'm so glad that I'm here to, to, to be with you when you read this wonderful stuff. <laughs> and it, as I said, it, it's so refreshing to hear the truth and reality talked about. I mean, I, I couldn't do that because of his paranoia about 
in case he saw what I'd written. So yeah. all the stuff I've written has been private mm. about all of this. But mm. it, it needs to come out. It needs to come out. It needs to be communicated. I, I have one. I have one poem called Cover, and it's where I'm suggesting to youth that they, because of what you just said, that they send their poetry to me or whatever, and I'll, I'll speak it for them. So anonymously. Mm. So that'd they, be wonderful. That'd yeah. be oh, good. Good so project. Good. So that. Um, that's, a, that's another project, but you need to get yours out there too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mia. <laughs> yeah. Adrienne? Adrienne, you're on. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. Hi, Maya. Hi. I'm, um, I'm very, very deeply moved by really? your work. But it takes me back, do you remember, 40 odd years ago when I lived in your basement in Tunbridge Wells, <laughs> not long open, heavily overweight, and I couldn't do anything. And you just reached out and you held my hand and you cried. Oh, really? You cried for me. I don't know if you remember, I'd never experienced that before. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, I was doing, um, actually doing a voice project with a poet today called Grace who's published in honours and everything, she mm. couldn't connect to what she felt and sort of happened in reverse. Anyway, we were talking about poetry on Zoom. Mm. I think what I really want to say is that on Zoom or not on Zoom, your words absolutely, absolutely went right in. So yeah. we were talking about you don't have an audience, a live audience, and are they responding or not well absolutely it's made no difference and they are magnificent Maya I didn't know you, I'd seen you doing your acting and thinking oh look she's looking amazing <laughs> but um, I was a bit muddled but all yeah. I can say is you really touched me and you've really moved me and lots of love and thank you for helping me all those years ago <laughs> mm. okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I yeah. love you I love you yeah thank you. yeah to you thank you my, uh, I'm, I'm a retired uh, marriage and family therapist, and I worked a lot with kids and their families. And a lot of what you wrote took me like right back to some of the more difficult situations I had to help people confront. Uh, and there, there was so, there's so much pain out there. So that that's one thing you can say that very powerfully all the confusion and and not knowing what to do and feeling lost and alone and afraid and all of that uh, also there's a kind of an indictment in, in it in what you've written about society's attitudes in general toward people with mental or what i prefer to call in most cases emotional disorders and um well it's just yeah it's it, you make it so real uh really? it it took me back there maybe more than i would have uh, well no i can't say that but but yeah it was certainly a reminder and i can see why you call it rap you know it has a bit of that flavor of the continual rhyming yeah it's a, it's a uh, and, and the kind of punchy yeah. way that you well, yeah, thank you, Theo. I dropped out of school, so I never did English or math ever again. So my English comes like that for some reason. Mm. I guess probably listening to rhymes and fairy stories when I was young. Was it? Uh, <laughs> more, more than that. Anyway, yeah, yeah, thank you for all this. Thank you, Theo. Thank you so much. It's I lovely Mike. to see you, Maya. It's been a long time. <laughs> and um, I've also got lovely memories going back to Tunbridge Wells. And I was uh, a little bit lost at the time when I met you. And I always felt that you just saw me with, with no judgment and sort of reflected back a positive side of myself so that I could see it. And I see that in your poems as well, that you're seeing people who suffer a lot. But I feel that it's full of love. There's no judgment. There's just kind of hope and wanting to, to give people hope. 
and you got some punchy punch lines. I loved Granny Will Raw. <laughs> I thought that's a great outline. I <laughs> <laughs> well, I took it metaphorically, and I was interested that you often, you are a character in your own poems called Granny. So yeah. being Granny rather than Myra, it's as if to say, well, look, I'm at this point in life where I, I've been through some stuff and I'd love to help you to get through it to the other side of it. And it feels like that. It feels very caring. Thank you. Michael? I just, you know, my knows, Vienna. because we've been in contact, how much I, I told her, how much I adore her work. Uh, I love what Teo said, and Stefan too. I love the way Teo expressed that part about uh, an indictment. You know, it's really good. But yeah. what I wanted to say too, which is so, so very, very uh, singular in what you're doing, Maya, that I saw today, with all of us collectively, is the fact that you can be so personal, so sincere, so poetic, and and so um, detailed about these incidences that obviously, clearly affect your life. And there is not one jot, not one drop of poor me about it. You You are sharing this. And that's all I wanted to say, except for one little thing, which is so nice to see a, a character from Game of Thrones join us today in the form of Stefan. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love that. I love that coat you're wearing, Stefan. <laughs> but Maya, <laughs> you, look, you look right out of it. You're, you're right out of yeah. Game of Thrones. But I don't want to That's take true. away from Maya, so forgive me for that last little joke. <laughs> I don't forget what I say, and I agree with the publishing. We've got to get you published, and absolutely. Continue. And there we yes. are. Thank you yes. So much. yes, absolutely. Liana, uh, uh, thank yes, you, I Michael. Just, I knew you. Uh, we crossed over in Los Angeles to a group, and I just never knew you were a poet and had all of this depth and joy and um, pain, all of it put together. I would have loved to talk to you a lot more. While we're on your uh, rhyme, I couldn't resist writing down the the unique uh, com word combinations in terms of rhyme that I really enjoyed, which could be wrapped if you practiced it a little. Um, silent, violent, fix it, smooth it, to improve it. Fail her, impale her, invite the light, cause it, pause it. They, they were just lovely internal rhymes that I, I wonder where they, you know, arrive from when you're writing. Just really exquisite. I really enjoyed this. Yeah. And your sincerity and maybe rude. I took some pictures of your face because you're so beautiful. Yeah. Like when I put you on speaker view, there's just this gorgeous face that's seen all this life. And anyway, you're beautiful inside and out. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. And and I wanted to ask Ismana, they, these do have the uh, text with them when they're published? When they're uh, on they the... Will be they will be published on our website and we're thinking of publishing really do like a magazine uh, with all poetry published oh, wow. oh okay. and it'll have the text yeah. very wonderful thank you yeah, that's, that's, thank you. that's, that's a nice idea, idea. Yeah. yeah yeah it's uh, uh it's so so touching with sophia mm -hmm. uh, you wanted to say something i'll say something at the end <laughs> yes um i agree that your poems need to be published because um, we need to be educated about the suffering of um, emotional disorders. Uh, we, we need to stop shaming mm. people who have psychological disorders mm. uh, so that they feel they need to hide them and they can't. Mm -hmm. We can't hide our emotional disorders. I've been called crazy by both sides of my family. Mm -hmm. um, I married a man who had um, uh, bipolar disorder and mm -hmm. schizophrenia. And um, I, we weren't able to keep our marriage together. Um, I don't like being struck 
or um, verbally abused. So I had to leave him, but I know he suffered. His mother tried to commit suicide and his grandfather told him when he was eight years old, when she slit her wrists to clean up the blood. Oh my God. An eight year old. Oh, shit. Um, so please see mm -hmm. if you can get your compassionate views of emotional disorders published. Thank you, Ms. Griffin. Mm -hmm. I will try. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Uh, Maya? Mm -hmm. Well, I, it's, it's Sophia saying that. I really feel, I know this is a bit off, but I really feel the need in Subud for a group like this to be sharing this sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. If with you know, there are some of us that know about this from first hand. Um, I mean, I also know about the psychiatric side because I was a mental health worker in the mental health team while my son was becoming psychotic, and I know how difficult it is to work with this, you know. To but. So, so I, uh, that was my other point that I wanted to say. So, I understand from both ends, if you like, how painful it is. But it's much easier if you're on, if you're a professional worker, because you're getting paid for it for a start, you know. Mm -hmm. And the system never works, it seems. Somehow, I mean, this is me talking. Somehow, whatever you do, it doesn't seem to work. Whether it's a system or, or on a personal level, nothing seems to work. And, and, and I need to express that. But there, there's so much to express in Subud that we keep, maybe we're ashamed of. Mm. And it's so nice to hear the truth coming out, but in a creative way. I mean, creativity is the way through for me. And, and there was in your poem about being quiet and being creative and giving, you know, giving that help to people that this is what needs to be done. I don't know whether it's for people, for the person, for the young person or the person, the carer, I don't know, but it really worked. And there was another line, something about legitimize, not something else. And it really, do you remember what that is? And um, um, which one was that? Um, oh, I don't know, but I'll I'll, I'll see it. If it, if um, it would be lovely to read it, to read that, yeah, <laughs> got a magic. So, so that you know, I can hear it again because it'd be on YouTube. So that's great. And I've I had really decades, really love them. Decades of um, helping my daughter, one daughter, uh, for decades three decades actually, um, to a, fortunately a resolution because that um, it took such a long time and the system is broken. Yeah. I do believe in many, many respects. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Well, dearest Maya, as you know, um, I lost my uh, younger brother to suicide as well as my grandfather. And, um, you know, we, we never heal, those of us who remain. We never really heal. We are always thinking, what could I have done? What could I have said? And I, I think that that's one of the reasons why I said, I, I'm so happy that everyone's talking about having your poetry published because, you know, Living is so, it's such a lonely experience to be alive. It doesn't matter whether you have a happy family around you or whether you're all alone. We are all alone. And, and somehow your poetry helps us to not feel so alone. 
And I think it's very, very, very important that your work be, maybe you could, maybe you, I think someone suggested, was it Theo? Maybe you could create a little character and so you wouldn't have to be Maya. You could wear a little hat or you could wear different clothes and, and you could make a little YouTube channel or something where, you know, uh, granny talks or raps or whatever, but just something so that if you wish, no burden, I actually uh, got a domain name called Granny Rats in Hats because I had a, oh. a life <laughs> of love kind of in my head and like about a year ago. I thought, oh yeah, that sounds fun. So. <laughs> well, you know, I'll have to send you a link. I have a wonderful friend in New York who's an artist. And one of the things that she does is she makes extraordinary hats. And so maybe you guys could hook up and, and you could wear a different Julie hat every day or something. I don't know, just an idea. They are, you would love them. They're extraordinary hats. She's well, quite uh, a wild artist. <laughs> sounds like a new project is being born. Liana. <laughs> Uh, it, it's a little bit changed back from a rather joyful topic to just I put on the chat uh, something I'm watching for four days, but it's going on now until October 2nd. It's called Collective Trauma Summit. Anybody that writes it in, it's a free workshop, but there's joy, hario, hoyo. there's poets, there's music, there's presentations, but then they go away. Wow. There was one yesterday that would have been perfect for lots of Sibu people about our, in, our heritage, our uh, ancestors. And and the solving the trauma through our ancestral line that in fact one gentleman was talking about that you you have um, trauma and it might even come from two generations ago and unless you really get in touch you can't know what trauma your grandparents or great-grandparents went through but how it's actually passed down almost genetically so it's an excellent summit i can't get my friends to watch it and it's so good you can pick and choose what uh topics you like of what's there so i put the the thing in there that if you put it up, okay. collective yeah. trauma, it doesn't mean trauma for the whole culture. It means our individual trauma as well. Yeah. It's really I, an excellent. I just want to add, um, I've been following some of it. I find it excellent. And they leave things up for three days, not indefinitely. But if you get there, you've got three days worth of talks before they take them down. Can you put and they're very rich every day. And you still have until October 2nd to see ongoing workshops. And they run a meditation. You can take it or leave it. It's, really it's also, it, it's wonderful because they, they're facing trauma head on, but with great optimism that yes. it is possible to change patterns. And I, I'm very encouraged by it. Yes. Yeah, maybe you can post, post yeah. the link in our in the chat it's, and i also saw a question for uh, the need to to have your email address uh, maya if oh, you could no. if you could post it in in the chat link. it was at the very beginning yes um where do you want it in the chat, chat? in the chat in the chat yeah, yeah. Okay. And you can yeah. you can print the chats or take a screenshot of the chat if you don't want to write it all down. Yeah. <laughs> at the I, end of this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not very good at these things. <laughs> Collective trauma summit. Just yeah, put that okay. in. That will get you there. Yeah. Write it down. <laughs> Do you know what was coming to my mind, uh, Maya, with your poems? It, and and this Zoom conversation is that they would be very good conversation starters um, where because they're so open and there's so much love in them, it enables other people to feel free to speak things that they don't speak about every day, just as, mm -hmm. as we are here. And on a Zoom meeting, it's not the easiest place to do it, but it's happening easily tonight. So yes. that's something to do with your presence and your poetry. And it, it's another it's another possible angle rather than thinking well, as well as thinking of a like a volume of published poems is maybe even almost like, um, I don't know, an online home for people who have things they would like to say mm -hmm. um, on this subject. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I was I, I also had this feeling. So when you the moment you started to speak, uh, it creates um, a very special space and it's a safe space and I think having a safe space to to be able to really open up and to first to let you in and then to, to really feel touched by your words that's amazing and that what what I felt from the first moment and it's like um, 
well, the spell sounds strange, but the bliss, it's absolutely amazing. And I really hope we will find a way to continue the conversation or to create a space maybe uh, on like a um, mm. different space similar to Zoom use, but really just for, for these topics and a safe space to, to talk about yeah, these, uh, these matters. It's, uh, I'm, I'm absolutely grateful. I thought I couldn't make today because I just um, said to Maya earlier, I lost my aunt just yesterday. She, she passed away. And, and I didn't feel like coming to hosting Zoom Muse, but something told me, Ismana, go, it will be good for you today. And I said this early, and it really is. So I'm, I'm grateful for, for just being here and, so glad. and being touched. Thank you so much. A really a conversation to close with a moment of silence I really feel <laughs> it just is long Thank you. Thank you, Maya. Thank all of you for being Bye. so here. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you so Bye. much. Thank, Thank you. you all so much. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>